Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 38th and the last question from CBSC Class 10, 2023-24. Additional practice questions for Mathematics Standard with subject code 041. Section E where each question is of 4 marks. Now this question is a combination of introduction to trigonometry and applications of trigonometry chapters. A drone is an aircraft without any human pilot and is controlled by a remote control device. Its various applications include policing, surveillance, photography, precision agriculture, forest fire monitoring, river monitoring and so on. David used an advanced drone with high resolution camera during an expedition in a forest region which could fly up to 100 meters height above the ground level. David rode on an open jeep to go deeper into the forest. The initial position of drone with respect to the open jeep on which David was riding is shown below. David's jeep started moving to enter the forest at an average speed of 10 meters per second. He simultaneously started flying the drone in the same direction as that of the jeep. Now the first sub question is, David reached near one of the tallest trees in the forest. He stopped the drone at a horizontal distance of 5 root 3 meters from the top of the tree and at a vertical distance of 65 meters below its maximum vertical range. If the angle of elevation of the drone from the top of the tree was 30 degree, find the height of the tree. Show your work. Note, take root 3 as 1.73 and this is only for one mark. So let us understand the entire question first. So here David is flying his aircraft and exploring the forest. Now the piece of information given is the drone can fly up to 100 meters height above the ground level. That is the maximum height it can reach. And the second piece of information given is David's jeep was moving at an average speed of 10 meters per second. So I have written over here maximum vertical height that can be reached by drone above the ground level is 100 and average speed of David's jeep is 10 meters per second. Now coming to the first sub question, here we have to find out the height of the tree. Now the piece of information they have given is the horizontal distance of drone from the top of the tree that is 5 root 3 meters and another very important piece of information given is drone is at a vertical distance of 65 meters below its maximum vertical range. Its maximum vertical range is 100 meters and in this particular question the drone is 65 meters below its maximum range. So here it's going to be at a height of 100 minus 65 meters. So I have written over here maximum vertical height that can be reached by drone above the ground level is 100 meters. Current height of drone is 65 meters below the maximum height so it is going to be 100 minus 65 that is 35 meters. So let me write here, the total height of the drone from the ground is 35 meters. Now here I have already labeled the diagram, that is A, B, C and D. Here we are supposed to find out the height of the tree, that is PD. And let us keep it as H. And according to the given information, BC is given, BD we need to find and angle of elevation is given as 30 degree. Now let us concentrate on the right angle triangle ABC and let us try to find out the height AB. So let me draw it over here again. So this is ABC, BC is 5 root 3 that is the horizontal distance of the drone from the tree. Angle of elevation is 30 degree. We are trying to find out AB. Now here 30 degree is the angle of concern. So the side opposite to 30 degrees AB. So let us write here, this is the opposite side. And we know that the side opposite to 90 degrees will be always the hypotenuse. And the remaining side BC becomes default adjacent side. Now here adjacent side is given, we are trying to find the opposite side. So we do not need the hypotenuse in this case. And the trigonometric ratio which relates the angle to the opposite side and adjacent side is the tan. So let me write over here. So tan theta is equal to opposite side over adjacent side. So here theta is 30 degree. So we have written tan 30 degree equal to AB. Opposite is AB and adjacent side is BC. 
so a b over p c so here tan 30 is 1 over root 3 is equal to a b over b c is phi root 3 now cross multiplying let us take phi root 3 on this side so it multiplies with 1 and we get it as phi root 3 divided by root 3 is equal to a b now we can cancel off the root 3's from the numerator and denominator and we get the value of a b as 5 meters so let me write here a b is 5 meters now let us come back to this diagram here a b we got it as 5 meters so let me write here 5 and since we have to find out b d that is the height of the tree it is the total height at which the drone is minus the height a b so let us calculate b d now so height of tree which is b d is equal to a d minus a b now here we have a d as 35 and a b just now we got it as 5 so 35 minus 5 gives us 30 meters that means height of the tree is 30 meters now let us move on to the second sub question the drone was flying at a height of 30 root 3 meters at a constant speed in the horizontal direction when it spotted a zebra near a pond right below the drone the drone traveled for 30 meters from there and it could see the zebra at the same place at an angle of depression of theta from it draw a diagram to represent this situation and find theta show your work and this is for one mark now here you have to draw a rough diagram so let me explain you the question using the diagram so here i have drawn a rough diagram the diagram shows two positions of drone that is the drone is flying at a height of 30 root 3 meters above the ground and it spotted a zebra right below it as it was mentioned in the question now after spotting it the drone kept moving horizontally for a distance of 30 meters and it came to the second position that is drone position 2 now from this position it looked down towards the zebra since the angle made by the drone towards the zebra is downwards we call it as angle of depression so theta represents the angle of depression and here we need to find out what is the value of theta so you can draw a rough diagram like this and after drawing this this represents a right angle triangle as you can see now let me represent this diagram as a right angle triangle so this is the same diagram represented as a right angle triangle and here we are trying to find out the value of theta now here since theta is the angle of concern the side opposite to theta is ab so let us write it opposite side the side opposite to the 90 degree will be always hypotenuse so bc is hypotenuse and the remaining side that is ac default becomes the adjacent side now here since we do not have the hypotenuse we will just get rid of it and here since we have the opposite and adjacent again we are going to make use of the trigonometric ratio tan again so let me write over here so tan theta is equal to opposite side which is ab divided by the adjacent side which is ac substituting the values we are going to get here tan theta is equal to ab is 30 root 3 divided by ac is 30 so 30 from the numerator and 30 from the denominator cancels and we are left with tan theta is equal to square root of 3 and tan of 60 degrees gives us square root of 3 so here we are going to write theta is equal to 60 degree so this is the angle of depression made by the drone when looking towards the zebra so here theta is 60 degree now let us move on to the third sub question after two minutes of starting the expedition both the drone and the jeep stopped at the same moment so that the drone can capture some images the position of the drone and the jeep when they stopped is as shown below find the average speed of the drone in meters per second rounded off up to two decimal places show your work and this is for two marks now let us understand the meaning of this question now after two minutes of starting the expedition both the jeep and the drone come to a halt they completely stop and the drone captures some images now we have to find out what is the average speed of the drone 
Now average speed is represented as total distance divided by total time. Now here since we are finding the average speed of the drone, I have written average speed of drone is equal to total distance traveled by drone divided by total time. Now what is this total distance traveled by the drone? Now here as the jeep was moving for 2 minutes, the drone was also moving for 2 minutes. That means the distance covered by the jeep is equal to the distance covered by drone for 2 minutes. Now after 2 minutes when they both come to a halt, the distance between the jeep and the drone needs to be calculated. So I have written over here, total distance traveled by drone is divided into two parts. The first part is equal to the distance traveled by jeep plus the second part is distance between the jeep and the drone after 2 minutes when they both stop. Now let us find out the first part of this distance, that is distance travelled by jeep. Now in the main question they had given that David's average speed was 10 meters per second. So let me write here. So average speed of David's jeep for 2 minutes was 10 meters per second as it was mentioned in the main question. Now we have to find out what was the distance travelled by David's jeep for those 2 minutes. So we have the formula which relates the speed, distance and time. So let me write over here. So here distance is equal to speed times time. Now remember we have to find the answer in meters per second. So here we have the speed as 10 meters per second and time as 2 minutes. So speed is 10 meters and 2 minutes is being converted into seconds that is 2 times 60. So multiplying all the 3 will get the value as 1200 meters. So this is the distance travelled by the jeep. Next. We have to find out the distance between the jeep and the drone that is after 2 minutes when both come to a stop. Now this represents the right angle triangle. So let me label it first. So here in this diagram we are trying to find out the distance between the jeep and the drone. So here we need to find out what is PC. Now since this represents a right angle triangle and 60 degree is the angle of elevation, the side opposite to 60 degree is AB. So AB becomes the opposite side and we can see its value is given as 50 root 3 and the side opposite to the 90 degree will be always the hypotenuse and the remaining side becomes the adjacent side. So in this triangle again the opposite side is given, the angle is given, we need to find out the adjacent side that is the horizontal distance between the jeep and the drone. So we do not need the hypotenuse so we will discard it. Now here again since the opposite and adjacent are present, the trigonometric ratio we will be using is tan. So let me redraw this diagram. So here I have redrawn the diagram and here tan 60 is equal to opposite side which is AB divided by the adjacent side which is BC. So we are trying to find out BC here. So I am going to cross multiply BC and tan 60. So BC goes in place of tan 60 and tan 60 comes over here. So BC is equal to AB value I have substituted here which is 50 root 3 divided by tan 60 takes the place of BC. Now the value of tan 60 is root 3 so let me substitute here. So 50 root 3 divided by tan 60 value is root 3. Now root 3 from the numerator and root 3 from the denominator cancels and we have got the value of BC that is the distance between the jeep and the drone as 50 meters. So let us substitute this value and the distance travelled by jeep in this main formula. So here distance travelled by jeep we calculated as 1200 and distance between jeep and drone was 50 meters. So we added them together and divided by the total time. The total time was 2 minutes converting it into seconds we got it as 120. So simplifying this we will get 1250 divided by 120. So cancelling the two zeros, we get 125 divided by 12 and if you do the long division, we will get the value as 10.41666 and 6 is recurring. So we put like this. Since in the question it was mentioned to round it to two decimal places, we are going to write it as 10.4 and 6 is greater than 5. So we will add plus 1 to its previous value. So it becomes 10.42 meters per second. So this is the average speed of the drone 
when it was flying for 2 minutes and after it stopped. Now let us look at the OR sub question. At some point during the expedition, David kept the drone stationary for some time to capture the images of a tiger. The angle of depression from the drone to the tiger changed from 30 degree to 45 degree in 3 seconds as shown below. What was the average speed of the tiger during that time? Show your work and take square root of 3 as 1.73. So in this question we have to find out what is the average speed of the tiger in 3 seconds when it moves from this position to this position. So here in this diagram we can clearly see that there are two right angle triangles. The first right angle triangle makes an angle of depression of 30 degree and the second larger right angle triangle makes an angle of 45 degree. So let me separate out the two right angle triangles and show you how to solve it. So this is a rough diagram I have drawn and I have separated out the two right angle triangles. Here the tiger's position is considered 1 when the angle of depression was 30 degree and the height of the drone from the ground was given as 54 root 3 meters. And in the second case the angle of depression made was 45 degree and the tiger's position changed from 1 to 2. So let us try to find out what is the value of the side PC that is tiger's first position from the starting point. Now here since angle of concern is 30 degree the side opposite to it is BC. So let me consider it as the opposite side. Now the side opposite to the 90 degree will be always the hypotenuse and the remaining side becomes the adjacent side. Again in this case since we have to find out the opposite side we have the adjacent side we are going to make use of the tan trigonometric ratio. So let me write here. So tan of 30 degree is equal to opposite side so in this case it is BC divided by the adjacent side which is AB and the value of tan 30 is 1 over root 3 and AB is given so let us substitute over here. So 1 over square root of 3 is equal to BC over 54 square root of 3. Now square root of 3 and square root of 3 can be cancelled from both the sides and 54 multiplies with 1 giving the BC value as 54. Similarly let us try to find out tiger's position 2 from point B that is this entire distance. So here again 45 degree is the angle of concern the side opposite to the 45 degree is BD so let me write it opposite and 54 root 3 becomes the adjacent side. So again taking the trigonometric ratio tan we are going to find out the value of BD. So let me write here so here tan 45 is equal to the opposite side which is BD divided by the adjacent side which is AB. Now tan 45 value is 1 is equal to BD divided by the value of AB is 54 root 3. So we have substituted here. Now cross multiplying will get the value of BD as 54 square root of 3. So let me write here. So this is a 54 square root of 3 meters. Now once we get this we have to actually find out the distance between tiger's position 1 and tiger's position 2. So let me come back to the original diagram. So in this diagram we have to actually find out the value of CD. Now through our calculations we found out that BC was 54 meters. So let me write here 54 and the value of BD which we calculated was 54 square root of 3. So to find out the value of CD we have to simply subtract BC from BD. So let me write here. So CD is equal to BD minus BC. So substituting the values of BD. So here we had 54 square root of 3 and in place of square root of 3 we have taken as 1.73 its value. So 54 multiplies with 1.73 minus BC value is 54. And 54 times 1.73 gives us 93.42 minus 54 and this difference gives us 39.42 meters. So we have now calculated the distance between the two positions of the tiger. Now to find the average speed of tiger we have to make use of the distance time speed formula. So let me write over here. So speed of the tiger is equal to distance 
covered by it divided by time now distance covered we just now calculated as 39.42 divided by it moved in 3 seconds so the time has to be taken as 3 so when we divide 39.42 by 3 we get it as 13.14 meters per second so this was the average speed of the tiger when it moved from position 1 to position 2 i hope you have understood all the steps and like the video if you know any other way of solving this example do comment below and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching